lionesses have taken these three older cubs away from the rest of the babies and taken them on their hunt. Start teaching them about life. A bizarre thing happened. Uh, Zebra on its own wandered out of the forest and tried to cut right through and past the floodplain where the lions were. The wind was right and the zebra was oblivious to the uh, to the lions being there and uh, they had eaten. I think they must have eaten something relatively small the previous night. A sudden eruption and they charged out after her. You could see from the beginning that they were a little bit late. They missed that chance. But interesting to note how that initial burst of speed, the lionesses are a little faster than that zebra. Um, he just had enough space to get his speed up and, and get away. Second lesson was down to the water for a drink. And uh, having a good look at some of the nasties that lurk in the water. It's a fairly big crocodile that watched them sort of pile down to the edge of this little pan. And um, the cubs didn't pile in and drink immediately. The lionesses had a bit of a drink and uh, the cubs were quite intent watching this, this crocodile move back and forth. You can see the cubs sort of growling at this crocodile and they clearly sort of knew that they, were, they weren't pleasant things. It's a great adventure for these, these little cubs. Um, learn a little bit about becoming Remy lines. We found part of the pride moving down the edge of the floodplain next to a big ebony thicket just on sunrise. The two males were slightly behind the cubs and a few of the females and uh, you could see they were just making contact and reforming their, their bond. It's quite amazing how the cubs came out to greet the dominant male. And then he actually played a game with them, which is quite astounding. It's 
great to see a dominant male being so interactive with, with his offspring or with offspring that he thinks is his. think that they'd had a, a long night moving to be so stationary. Eventually they all piled on top of a, of a little termite mound covered in grass. It's quite incredible, they arrived there right on sunrise and uh, there they spent the rest of the day. I mean, literally till sunset they stayed huddled on that, uh, that same place. Three of the females had left during the night and uh, sort of cut th west through Dead Tree Island. Um, the pride was very much following their trail, um, not in a hurry, moving slowly with the cubs. They all ended up on the edge of a small channel, a little bit of water to cross, and um, sat in a heap, um, contemplating the, the water. The male, as always, close to the cubs, came in and lay down amongst them. Uh, he was greeted well, all the cubs climbing on his head. Um, he literally hugging them, uh, grabbing them with both paws. Just always astounded to see that interaction that that male has with, with those cubs. It's just really bizarre. It's just not a, it's not a, it's not usual for a dominant male um, to be so interactive with, with his cubs. Water crossings with cubs are, is always fun to watch. It really starts to show the, the different characters of the individuals of the pride, uh, different temperaments. Some cubs, you know, really making an issue of crossing. Um, uncertain, sort of snarling at the water. Some just go for it, and, and, and others are incredibly cautious. 